Hello guys, welcome to my channel The Guitar Connect. Nice to catch you on your screens once again. My name is Mara Kabison and in this video I'm going to show you the best alternative software for Easy Worship. You know, Easy Worship is a very professional software that we use for Bible presentation at our churches, but one downside of it is that it's not easy for you to get the Bible versions for it, okay? If you want a Bible version like the King James Version, the New King James Version, the Amplified Version, the NIV Version, you have to buy them. And most of you guys want it for free. So in this video, I'm going to show you an alternative software that have all the Bible versions for it. And I'm going to walk you through how to download it, how to install it, and how can even use it with easy worship. I want you to stick to the video to the end. I want you to subscribe to my channel so that I'll provide more videos like this. The name of the software is Bible Show, as it is broadly written, the Bible Show. It's a very good software that has all the Bible versions, as you can see from this angle. You have all the Bible versions that you need. And it's a very it's a very professional software. And it is free as well. So I took it upon myself to go through the software and then to record a tutorial to help those of you guys who need the help so that at least at your church you can combine this software with easy worship to do your projections okay um, you know this software cannot project songs it cannot display images like how easy worship can do so what we can do is that we can use this one purposely for uh, pro uh, projecting uh, Bible uh, the scriptures or Bible quotations then we use the easy worship to project songs and uh, before I walk you through how to download and do the installation, let's quickly run through how the software, let me quickly show you the interface of the software, then we proceed to how to install it and then how to configure it and use it, okay. So when you download the software and you install, this is what you get, uh, it is called Bible Show, okay, this is the interface of the software, okay, this is the interface of the software. And if you if you look at the top here you have tabs you can see there are a lot of navigation buttons here there are tabs and all those things have uh, they represent something directly on this dashboard so when you click on the reference you can see that this reference is off when you click on the browse the whole browse is off when you click on the control you see something is off when you click on the monitor uh -huh. so you have control over whatever is on your dashboard so if you don't like what is here you can just put it off and then you leave those ones you want so this is the meaning of those buttons at the top here okay and then um, one quick thing I want to also show is that um, if you want to project a Bible a quotation or something you click on the books when you click on the books uh, you can choose the version you want to project and then the book and uh, maybe you want to uh, 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 project something from maybe um, maybe Isaiah, right? Isaiah chapter 53. Let's see, Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, verse verse 3. Okay, so when it clicks, it comes here. Then you click on the play. When you click on the play, it goes live here. So you can see that Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. This is the international standard version so you can switch it to the amplify version when you click on the amplify you can see that i've changed to the amplify version you can change it to american standard version you can change it to the uh all these other versions that we have there can change it to the niv the king james version the new king james version and so on and so forth okay you have a lot a lot a lot that you can you can change okay you can select the version you want and then you have a whole lot of things so you can hide it you can show you can do a whole lot of things with it okay and then one good thing about it i keep a history here for you so you can see there's a history here for you so maybe if you go if if you project a lot of scriptures and then your pastor tell you that or maybe you project the first one for me they just come to the history just select that one and then when you click it just goes live so this is the interface of the software you can see that whatever scripture you choose to project the issues at the top here as well okay so uh, let me walk you through how to configure it and then how to do the basic settings and then um, how you can go about it okay so this video is going to be a bit longer so i want you to bear with me 
and stick to the video and watch me take you through how to do all those things okay thank you very much for your patience so um so when you come to teams you, you can see we have teams configuration reference and then bible okay so let me start by downloading the bible versions okay so now we want to download bible versions for our 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 our, our software when you install the software for the first time okay you will you will you will, it will take you to here it will take you to this page where you have all the bible versions over here all the bible versions that you need to install so all of them are here so the one so the, so the one you want to install just click on install and it's going to install for you but mind you that you need internet to do all those installations so if you want to you can see that i've installed this one if you want to see if you want to install the amplifier the classic version that's the old version just click on install and then it will just install for you okay you need a very good internet for you to install this bible versions you want so the moment you install all will appear here all will appear here then once you install will appear here then you can be navigating through it um at least i forget and let me show you where you download the software then we come back to to how to go about it and then configure the software so if you want to download this software just google this software just google this name bibleshow.net it will take you to this page and then when you take you to this page just download the first one bible show version 5 you can see this this one uh, this one download you can see they say it's recommended to so download this version then it's totally free of charge when you download this it's just straightforward to install there's no there's nothing like installing crack or anything just go through the normal process to install it and then you are good to go okay i don't need to work it too hard to do this installation because i believe that all of you can install at least a basic application on your system okay so after the installation then this when you line the application this is what you see as i've walked you through one or two things so after you've installed the application mm, come here to the bibles and install the bible versions that you want you have a lot of them here so take your time and then install the bible versions that you want after the installation all the bible versions that you've installed you see them here then you can use them so after installing the bible version then we have to configure our screen our projection screen so that whatever we put there when we are projecting it will look appealing and nice okay this software comes with a lot of uh, templates uh, for for it has come with a lot of templates but some of them are not that nice to me so i believe that you have to sit down and then go the hard way by configuring it to your suit how you want your presentation to look like so this is what exactly i'm going to show you so when you click on the configuration okay you come to display when you come to display you have display one display two display three so just leave this one as it is okay just leave it as it is and one good thing about this software is that you can even uh, 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 project this thing through ndi output it means that you can do this projection through an a network a network into another system okay you can do this projection through an ndi output those of you know ndi output you can easily project it through ndi output so it means that you can easily connect this software to vmix that you can get the output of whatever you are projecting into vmix and then you can just be switching and navigating between the the, the the output you are getting in the software okay and then let's come to uh, aspect ratio let's come to aspect ratio so the aspect ratio mostly these things are yeah just leave them by default okay leave them by default and they come to transition the transition when you saw this software they come with some weird transition which i do not like so just make sure that you put all of them off by lowering the duration okay when you see when you put it like this a transition that i do not like so just put it zero when this one to when it comes here that's some weird transitions like just make sure that you put them zero and then you put everything zero 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 so that those transitions will not be there at all because it's they are not i i don't think they are cool for projection at the church and then after doing that they come to copyright copyright when you install it and you open it to come like this just make sure that you turn it to zero 
so that this copywriting will just go off on your page and then you are good to go. And then come to background, uh -huh. so when you come to back, this is where you have options to choose. You can choose a color and opacity, you can choose a picture, you can choose a video gradient or NDI output. So here, whatever uh, uh, color you want to choose, you can choose. So let me use this gradient as a background for us to see how we can configure it so you can easily choose anything you want to use it so you can manipulate it how you want the color to be like so after choosing the background of your choice then let's come to the out the, the, the layout okay layout how do you want the layout to be so this is where the the Bible verses will be showing the Bible, the, the, the headings will be showing. So if you don't want it to show here, just uncheck this one, then it will be showing at the bottom. If you want it to show at the top, you can just check it and then you maintain it. Then this is the margin. I don't know whether you guys can see the margin. Uh -huh. So if you want a good margin, you can just lower it something like this or something like this, 1.5 just to give you some cool margins around the edges of it and then the proportions so you can play around it to see the design that suits you okay but then when you come to text this is where the work is okay when you come to text we have the reference and then the verse the reference is the the headings here and then the verse is this whole thing thing over here so when you come to the that's the heading you can change the color so we can go through by changing the fonts, the font width, the font style, the stretch, the decoration, the, the font size, okay, the color of the font, alignment, what do you want it, what do you want it in the center, left or right, or whatever you want it to be. You can just choose the other one, okay. And then the shadow color, if you want it, well, if you want it, you can put it. I do not want it, so I just put it, I just make everything zero so that. I will not get any any shadow on the work. So after going through these uh, configurations for the reference or the title, you can come to the verse, the verse, this this whole thing where the actual scriptures will be showing. Then you can choose the font you want, the same as the heading, the font size, and then the size, the maximum, the output, whatever thing you want, you can choose it and then. You configure it to your need so that it will look appealing when you are projecting it on the screen. Okay, so after choosing all those things, then you are set with it. Then you come to the team, then you save it. Save us. Okay, you have to save it, else when you exit, it will disappear. So you have to save it and give it a name. So give it a name. Give it an I mean, ICGC name, or make it ICGC. One two, ICGC twelve. So, um, ICGC twelve. So you just have to save it, okay? When you save it, it will be always there for you. If you don't save it, it will disappear. So you have to keep that in mind. So after doing that, it, it means that you have configured it, and then the settings are safe for you to use it anytime you open the application. So. This is the basic thing you can. This is how you can configure the software, and then you use it. I'm, I'm sure it's not something that is difficult, and you cannot do it. This is something simple that you can easily do it. Okay. So now let's come to projection. Okay, projection. Let's say you are at a church, and then your pastor. Uh, it's time for him to preach, and then he will mention a quotation for you. So he will go some. He will go to something like maybe open. First John, okay. Open First John, chapter one, verse maybe nine, okay. First John chapter one, verse nine, okay. So this is First John chapter nine, verse nine. First John chapter one, verse nine. So you just have to be, you just have to be familiar with this uh, shortening of the of the Bible names, okay. The Genesis, the Exodus, the uh, the Leviticus, the number, the Deuteronomy, and those you just have to be familiar with it so that when you mention it, can easily go there and then you 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 project it out. Okay. So after, uh, so the top one, this one is the Old Testament. This one is the New Testament. So anytime at all, 
you a scripture go live like you can easily come back to the books and then when you mention another scripture you can easily go there and then you project it again okay so when you are just click on the red goes live if you is if you project it like this is mention another scripture just come back to the books and then you select it again and then you, you project it and then you are good to go it's not something i think is difficult to do it's very simple to do so in the easy watch you have to type it by here you just have to be clicking and then it will, it will show for you so here you can hide it or you can show it okay you can hide it also you can use this arrow up and arrow down to be navigating or to be moving okay to be moving and if you want to change the bible version just click outside the checkbox just click the outside the checkbox it will it will it will it will, it will it will be changing the Bible version for you. Okay, to change the Bible version for you. I see this interface to be very busy. So what I do is that after I configure this thing, so I'll just put the option off. When I put it off, I wouldn't be having this thing here. Then the rest of them I can concentrate and then be playing around. So those that I don't need, I can easily put them off and then I make the interface less busy for easy projection and other things so you can play around it and then you see how it goes okay you can play around it and then see how it goes so here have some you can minimize it you can maximize it here i believe you guys will enjoy it and use it at your churches okay so you can easily combine this software with easy worship okay when it comes to bible projects you can easily use this one and then when it gets to singing and projecting songs projecting some pictures and other inscriptions you can use the easy worship for that okay so you just have to launch the two software i've uninstalled the easy worship on this machine life i've shown you guys how to do it okay you can just only you, you can just launch the two softwares on it and then uh just uh, when the easy worship is live okay when you, when the easy worship is live and then you are projecting the scriptures and then just put this one to to life and then it will just stop the easy worship and this one will just go live it will override the, the output of the easy worship and then that is that okay so let's say uh, uh, this this uh, malachi chapter 6 verse 14 okay let's say uh, the easy worship okay maybe the easy worship is life okay let's say the easy worship is life okay you are projecting something or it's an easy worship but then now the pastor says you project a scripture for him is project this malachi chapter 6 verse 11 so just click on show and then it will just take this one live and then stop the easy worship that is how it works thank you guys for watching the video i really appreciate your time and don't forget to share the video subscribe and then leave a comment below and let me see how you are feeling and i'll be glad to assist you in anything you need thank you and see you bye bye